Hey fellow gardeners, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alice and I'm the Red Soil Gardener. Welcome back fellow gardeners. Today we're going to talk about the African daisy. Now it originally comes from South Africa and for a long time in Kenya we only had the white and the purple variety. But what I've seen recently is a lot of different varieties have come into the market. We have some uh, beautiful yellow ones, yellow and brown tints, orange ones. So there is a lot of variety. Now the other thing I want to talk about because Every time I have talked to people about the African daisy, they do get it mixed up with the margarita. Now this is a margarita plant and again in Kenya we have very many different varieties and we will do an episode on it. But they are totally distinctive because here we have is a margarita and the leaf structure is very different it's very flimsy it's very airy whereas with the African daisy it has bigger leaves and also the flower has also the center bit so those are the two things so when you do go and do your shopping just make sure you're asking for the African daisy and not for the margarita its Latin name is Oster sperma so make sure that you don't get it confused when you do go to a garden center or to these outside nurseries now this is the stem of an African daisy. Now the first thing for propagation is you just remove the leaves. Now the whole point of removing the leaves is that once you put the stem in the ground and it starts rooting, you don't want the leaves to compete with the roots. So that's why we remove it. So let's just do this. We could use a scissors, but as usual, don't forget to sterilize because I've had issues with these things. Um, so what I'm going to do is cut all these leaves off, as you see. And I might leave one or two leaves um, on the plant because it needs the leaves for photosynthesis to get food. So you just leave, I'll leave three leaves. Now what has happened here is that with this stem is I have other stems coming out of here and if I look closely is it looks like I may start getting a bud for a flower so I'm going to remove that by just a pinch because at this point when you're propagating you don't want the plant to have start making flowers so we want to keep all the strength on that stem. Now the thing about propagating African daisies, it all comes to the node. Now what is a node? A node is the junction where you get the leaves. If you look at where the leaves come from here, that is where you're going to get the rooting starting. So what we've done is we've removed all the leaves, we've taken the bud which is going to flower, we've taken that away, we've left a few stems, I've done here, let me remove that one. So here I have, I'm just leaving three, but that is the, for the photosynthesis, so you end up with uh, a stick like that. And I've done many others here because we want to propagate a lot of African daisies because once again propagation some will die some will live and I don't want you to be despondent so I always try to make quite a few and those that survive um, great okay so what we have here are all my stems which I'm going to propagate now what happens is once you know where the node is we're going to look at that and we're just going to cut slightly below the node and so that is what's going to go into the soil. I'm just going to cut it um, about here. So we'll do that with all of them. I'm just going to cut slightly below each node. Looking for the node, cut slightly below. And we'll just cut there. So these are my cuttings now. 
I have these little containers for my cuttings and what I have in there is a bit of compost, I always like my river sand because for the porous and a bit of, um, this time I put an actually coconut husk, just a bit of drainage. So what I'm going to do is I have my rooting hormone, sorry, and I'm going to just Place the cutting in water, place it in my rooting soil and then I'm going to take a dip. All these things, just plonk them in the soil and in three weeks you will see um, the rooting but sometimes it may take longer and I'll show you what to do with that. Now uh, what I've done is I have um, some of these African daisies that I had propagated about three weeks ago and I want to show you something. So these are my African daisies. Now the thing is, this is not a problem to propagate like this. And if you do have a warm room, don't put them in uh, um, in direct sun because you can actually cook them. But just look after them and put them in a slightly shaded area with a bit of warmth and slowly they will multiply, uh, you will get rooting. Now these ones, which I grew, <laughs> grew three weeks ago, and I'm sure you'll question me why I put the plastic over it but um, we'll start like this <clears throat> let's have a look and see the rooting whether they've started rooting this is three weeks ago I'm going to put this on the side um, so the best way when you're um, when you're removing this from their uh, box is just tip them upside down. Hold the plant and tip it upside down. So now we're looking at this one which is three weeks old propagation and as I mentioned lovely root structure and um, and it looks actually quite healthy. Now at this juncture what I'm going to do is I'm going to pot this into a slightly bigger pot and leave it there for another maybe uh, four weeks. From there I'll move it into another bigger pot and then we'll wait for it to be planted in the garden. So I'm going to plant that one. Let me leave it here. Now let's look at this one. This is another one. Let's see if it rooted. So what I'm going to do, put your hand like this, tip it upside down. Okay, good. Whew. There we go. Again, a nice root structure. So what I'm going to do with this one, again, I'm going to put it in a bigger pot. And once this sort of matures, I'll move into a bigger pot. And then from there, it'll go into the garden. So fellow gardeners, I've showed you how to propagate the African daisy and we'll follow the progress as we go along. These are African daisies that I actually propagated from stem three weeks ago and now we've put it into a bigger pot, bigger container. The next stage is to put it into a slightly bigger container and let it sit there and then in the end I'm going to introduce them into my garden. So those are the two. Now the other thing I'd like to talk to you with about the African daisy is the flower. Now the beauty about this flower is actually when it does seed it's quite distinctive and it's easy to collect the seeds. Now as you know with any of these plants is the petals go first. So we're just removing the petals. This is an indication that the plant is ready to seed. Now what happens is that when it does remove the petals you end up with something looking like this after a few weeks. That is initially the start of your seeds. Now once it finishes like that it opens up and you get this sort of look. Once they're black and it's all dried up, then you could use these seeds for making babies. So now 
I'm looking for my seeds here. So what I'm going to do is just pick the seeds out and um, that comes from your daisy plant, these black seeds. And um, here comes more, just going to crunch it and all the seeds are there. Now that you've seen the seeds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant them in these tubs. I've already put some water so it's a bit moist and from there we can follow up the story. So I'm going to just take one by one and place it. Once I get seedlings, I'm going to move them into one of these containers separate and then from there start the process, a bigger pot and then eventually once it's strong enough, I can, um, I can use it in the garden, I'll plant it. I think growing flowers is so nourishing because you actually see the product of what you've grown and I find that very satisfying. So we're putting one seed at a time here. I'm actually putting maybe five seeds in one of these in one of these tubs and then I'm going to just lightly get some nice potting soil and just cover it. And we will let you know once they do start. I think it's very exciting to see these babies coming up. So we have now know how to collect your seeds and how to plant them. Now you must be wondering what I've done here. Now the thing is, is it about propagation, sometimes it does take um, a little while to, to get them kicking, but what I find very effective is that I always call it my greenhouse effect. In Kenya at the moment we, it is forbidden to have plastic bags, so what I actually did desperately is I got one of these sort of plastic for your A4 paper and I just opened it and I included it in. Now the whole point is actually when you do cover your plants with um, with a plastic just uh, as, they're, as they're going through the propagation stage is that what happens is that the, the, the rooting takes quicker because of the heat and also the plant doesn't lose moisture through evaporation like if you had it out in the open. So sometimes I do like that technique because in the end it does go faster. So you could try, actually I'm thinking of getting just a little sort of box, glass box which I will put my plants in just to have that greenhouse effect. But the, but the most important thing when you do do this technique put it not in the sun, full sun will cook your plants. So just try to put it in a, a shady area in your garden or in your house, but um, don't put it in direct sun. So there you are, propagating this beautiful African daisy. I hope you've learned something from me. We'll follow the progress of the seeds, we'll see how these ones go, and we'll look at these ones as they move into a bigger pot and soon find home in my garden. Thank you so much fellow gardeners, don't forget to like and share, subscribe and press that notification button so you'll always be informed about our next episodes. Great showing you all this and please do try it at home because it's actually quite satisfying. Thank you very much and happy day.